Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can get your own Farming Simulator 22 private server online so you can play with your friends. These servers are cross-play as well, so you can play on Xbox, PlayStation, and even PC all at the same time. It's really easy to do, really fast, and you don't even need a computer. We're going to be using Gportal today because their web interface and mobile interface are literally exactly the same. You'll be able to add DLCs and mods from your phone, your tablet, or your computer, however you want to do it. So, let's check it out. The easiest way to get this is just go to my YouTube channel, go to any of the latest videos that have released, and go to the description, the very bottom of the description. There's going to be a link beside G Portal server. Click that. At the top of the screen, you'll see, thanks to DJ Goham Gaming, you'll get 10% off all game servers and also support him directly with your order. Hey, that's awesome. And that's me as well. Click on Farming Simulator 22. From here, you can pick your server plan. There's four options, but you can make your own option in number four. You've got the four slot option, which goes for 30 days. You've got the 30 day slot or 30 days for six slots. Now this was going to be a little bit more about twice as much, but you're getting more slots and you're getting more mod space as well or you can go 30 days with 16 slots yes you can have 16 slots on consoles today we're going to be creating our own configuration so just click order now step one create your cloud so this is going to be how many players you want to add you can do four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all the way up to 16 and of course price is going to be changing directly you can have 16 players own console servers because remember these are cross platforms so you can do whatever you want we definitely want to go with the 25 gigabytes of mod space this is going to let us pretty much add and do whatever we want and actually for today's video i'm just going to go down to eight slots there now duration how long do you want this to last or do you want it to last forever and the higher you go the more of a discount you get as well you can do three days 30 days 90 180 or 300 65 days at least for today's test we're just going to click on three days and lastly is your available location now this one's very very important because this is going to be where your server is located is it going to be washington dc los angeles dallas texas new york those are your locations for the united states now because i'm in north carolina closest one to me is Washington, D.C. However, you've also got places in Sydney, Australia. You've got Taipei, China, Tokyo, Japan, Frankfurt in Europe, and London, England. So whichever one of these is the closest to you, click that. And then just go back up to the top and click continue. And we're basically already finished. It's super, super quick. Now, one thing you're probably seeing here, platform PC, just ignore that. It's going to say PC no matter what you do. We're going to configure this as a cross-play server here momentarily. So here you can just pay however you need to or however you want. For the one we've got today, it's only $5.20. So we'll click that. And it brings us to this page right here. It says, thanks for your order. You can either activate now or activate the product later. We want to activate right now. Once you've activated, go to the game server configuration. The next page could be a little bit confusing, but all you need to do at the top is just click offline nah let's go online once you're online you'll have the web interface pop up this is where you add your mods you add your dlcs and things like that so click it once you're into the web interface you're gonna see this page right here you've got your server name your administration password game passwords so that's how people are going to join in you've also got a bunch of game slots as well so just like if you were on pc now you've got 20 different save game slots that you can change up and of course we've got our three base game maps but if you add a map as a mod you could go from there as well Creation mode, you can do Farm Manager or start from scratch. If you are on PC, you can also upload a game save. You unfortunately cannot do that on console. So heads up there. You can even do your save interval. Normally I like to make this about 15 minutes just so it saves it as much as possible. And then of course you have other things as well. This is the big one, crossplay allowed. Yes, we want that to be selected because you are doing this because you're on console. So we want to do that. And you can change these to whatever you want. I'm going to change these, so don't worry about trying to search for this. If you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see the active mod section. Now, we've got the Antonio Carrera pack and the Klossarian Saddle Track pack, but those are DLCs. We want mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very top and we're going to click on mods. And here is literally every mod so far that has been released for farming simulator 22 and oh man there's a bunch if you are on a desktop all you have to do is just choose some files that you want to do so for example you can go to the mod hub and we'll say we want to do wholesale all you have to do is click download 
and then once you've downloaded it, just choose your files and upload it. However, that mod is also somewhere in here, probably up near the top. If we go up here, there it is, wholesale. So simply all we have to do is click on the install. So I'm gonna go through and click on a couple different mods that I want to install. Uh, for example, we have the uh, biogas plant. Came out a few days ago, you can add that. Or horse pasture, the Mi Familia restaurant. What I'm looking for is a TLX. And we've got it right here, the TLX Phoenix series. So let's go ahead and we'll click the download button. And what that's gonna do, you see, mod added to the download queue. Perfect, and you can see it right here. And it's going up. And this is gonna be the exact same whether you're on a uh, mobile device or if you're on a desktop. And now that we've got that, we probably want a map as well, don't we? How's about we go with the new Frankenmuth farming map? Let's go with that and we'll go ahead and click download there as well. This is going to download it again right here and it's pretty quick. Once we've got all the mods that you want to download, download it, it says activate mods and home. So all we gotta do is click on that. And you can see here, we have the Teal'c Phoenix series and the Frankenmuth farming map there. So we wanna just click these. Of course you can tap on them on your phone or click them if you're on a computer like I am and just click activate. Now we've got both of those mods activated. Again, you can add up to whatever you want. And if you got that 25 gigs, you can put a lot of mods on there. Of course, you're not gonna show up your map right away. So we wanna go back up to the top where it says map, empty save game, click there and click on the Frankenmuth farming map. Perfect. Once you've got everything selected that you want, hit save. And then once it is saved, now hit start. And this is the fun part because now your save is up, you're ready to go. So let's jump over to the Xbox and see if it's working. Now remember, whenever you load up your console or your PC, whatever it is, you need to make sure you also have those mods downloaded. So I've got the TLX Phoenix series, but I don't have the Frankenmuth farming map downloaded. So let's go and get that. And we've got it, all right. Let's back out of here and we'll go into multiplayer. We want to join game. So click join game, and then we're going to be searching for our game once we're in here. So all I gotta do is go through and uh, well, we can choose game name. Now my game name is DJ G Portal Game. So DJ Game, hit search and there it is. There's your server. It's live baby, yeah. We'll click on it. Oh, oh that's not it. <laughs> we'll come over here and we'll click on the actual game and I do need to put in my password. And once you've entered your password, it is going to start loading up and yes, we just created our own personal custom game server on your phone or on your PC that you can use on your Xbox or maybe your PlayStation. And you can even load it up on your PC if you really want to. It's up and ready. Let's click it. There's my dude. And here I am in my own game server online. Now we need to go ahead and do a few things. So I'm going to come in here and we're going to log in as admin. Hit go. And we've successfully logged in as an admin. Good to go right there. Now we can create farms and things like that. We'll just create our new farm. And there it is. Now we've got 1500 bucks. We'll join it. And now I can start doing stuff. I can start buying equipment and things like that because we got the Phoenix. Well, you know, I definitely, definitely want to get a Phoenix. So I've got it. And again, I am on my custom game server playing and I can invite all my friends. Uh, we've got eight slots on here. So you can bring eight friends on here if you want to, or you can just invite one or two other people, but you now have your own perfect custom game server. Thanks to G Portal and DJ Goham. Well guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope this helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos like this one. I'm Zeb. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.